Hey guys, Axe here. Just wanted to jump into our first tutorial of, for our uh, YouTube channel. And it's going to be the piston doors that Donny Boy Pony has uh, created. They're really cool, really compact design. I wanted to show you here, this is just the edge walling of my new home, I guess. Um, it's a little bit uninspiring at the moment, but that's because I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do. I have decided to leave a gap in the wall the whole way around, essentially, so that I can do things like chuck in piston doors and that sort of thing. So yeah, let's just get into it. This is the initial configuration you need. This will dictate where the pistons will be flush with the wall. So when we're done, it will essentially appear to be like that. Um, what we're going to do first is I'm going to build the surrounds that we will put the pistons and the wiring in. And then I'm going to go and show you how to do the XOR gate to, uh, to have a lever to open and close. But first off, let's just, just basically follow what we're doing and you'll see why I'm doing it this way in a bit, but essentially you need an area like that. So you've got the original uh, front that I had there and now we've just added this other stepped section and that will be there for running redstone over. Um, oops. Now we just need to do the same on the other side like so and you can join these up on the top if you want um, it won't really affect anything immediately but we will need to put a cover on one way or another at some stage but for now that'll basically do so you can see that that's how the that's how essentially each side should look at this early stage um, yeah the uh, while I'm at it, we might just quickly go over and say, to get this project done, you're essentially going to need roughly 60 to 64 pieces of some construction material. I'm using cobble because it's really easy to come by and I'm doing this on our multiplayer server. I'm specifically doing this on a multiplayer server and not making my life easy by doing this on a single player server so that I can make sure that this does work. I've done this same design in a few different ways with the wiring and I found out that some methods that I used to get this working on a single player server didn't work in multiplayer. So the sun's going down so I'm just going to do a quick cut. I'm going to get everything I need. Uh, before I go and talking about everything I need you're going to need at least six redstone torches, three redstone repeaters, you're going to need somewhere between 25 and 35 pieces of redstone for the wiring and like I said earlier roughly about 60 um, might as well call it 64 pieces of construction material to actually build the surround and have enough stone to build the XOR gate underneath what we are uh, underneath where we're going to have our piston doors but yeah the sun's gone down so I'm just going to do a quick cut and we'll be back in a jiffy okay guys one thing I forgot to uh, mention just then was that obviously you're going to need 12 pistons the all important part uh, and I figured while I'm here I might as well show you quickly how to go about making them so this is the configuration that we're going to uh, that we're going to put in our crafting cube which will allow us to create the 12 pistons that we need so if you hold down shift it'll just instantly put it straight into your inventory so there we go um, and we obviously need them to be sticky pistons because they are, um, they need to retract blocks and so on and so forth so uh, we can make them all sticky done and done okay well you can see it's still night time so yeah another quick cut and we'll be right back and we'll start putting it all together okay guys like I just said we we've got our 12 sticky pistons the rest of the gear we need so we can get into wiring this bad boy up and chucking the pistons in position. Um, so initially we'll just put them 
four in like that on either side and we'll stand it over here and chuck in like the other two like that. Now we need this configuration so that the, basically the different sets of pistons will push out uh, these two right in front of me here and then though once those two have been pushed out they will then extend and push the block into position and obviously the reverse happens once you close the door or open the door I should say um, the reverse happens so yeah okay now I'm just gonna chuck a couple more blocks in up there you can do a strip basically the whole way across if you wish it won't matter too much but we do need a couple of extra blocks at the back there Okay, let's grab some redstone. I've burnt a little bit, so I might have to go back and get some more, but um, yeah. The redstone configuration. You can follow what I'm doing now. So I'm placing redstone behind the two bottom pistons. I'm just wrapping around up onto this step, then across like so. And we want to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So again, redstone behind the two bottom, up onto the step and then back up onto the two blocks to power the top two pistons. Okie dokie. Now, what we also need to do, guys, is we need to run some redstone up onto the roof. For now, I'm just going to put a strip at the back so you can just see how it needs to go, but we'll come back and tidy it up later on. So, strip across the back and two there to make a square. Those are, that is a fairly important step. You need to see that it's two back from the front and then a square of four right in the center. And the reason for that, guys, is as, that, uh, as the mill pistons move into position, they need to be powered in through two positions to extend to the front and retract again and then back across. So that's why we have them, have it like that. So yeah, we're sort of getting there, guys. It's not too far. Um, what I'm uh, going to do next is just quickly show you how to uh, run a power source up to the top back there. Okay guys, we're just going to, oh hello, just get you out of the way, thank you. Okay, now we're just going to run, um, like I said, just the connection for the power source up to the back, which will also act as the power source for this side of the mechanism. Uh, yeah, so essentially, you can you can do this in a number of different ways, but for me, this is a fairly compact way of doing it. Uh, having a repeater there does two things. We need a repeater to get the signal far enough over to the other side. Uh, and it also stops it from interfering with the signal here. And that is rather important because we need to put a delay on that signal, which we will do with another repeater. So we'll just test that by chucking a redstone torch down. You don't need to do this step. I'm just showing you that it works and up to the top. Now, if we want, while we're over here, you can link it up with uh, this redstone here. It doesn't matter quite how you do it, but yeah. Oops, I've activated a couple of the pistons, but you can see anyway, that's exactly how they're meant to work. So, so far, so good. Now I'm just gonna take my redstone torch back and away they go. Now they, they probably didn't, did they, yeah, they didn't retract properly. That's okay, there's no delay, so they're not meant to at this stage. Uh, like I said, you guys didn't need to put the redstone torch down at that stage. I was just there so I could illustrate how it would work. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's the wiring for the top section done, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to have a, the power source essentially come through the ground here. And uh, that will then be used to power the circuit going up to the roof and over the top. And, um, and power this side of the uh, pistons here as well. Actually, there is one more thing that we can do now is we can put this repeater in immediately and put it on the fourth tick. That is extremely important, so please remember to do that. Um, and that is what's going to make the, the pistons retract again properly. If you don't put it on the fourth tick, this is what happens. The pistons stay out and they don't work properly. Um, yeah, so we'll get the power source sorted coming up through the ground and we're going to use an XOR gate to have a lever which will open and close the doors. Okay guys, so yeah, let's uh, see how we go for the next bit.